The co-founder and CEO at Sankhya Labs, founded in 2007, Sankhya is India's first fabless semiconductor company. Sankhya is considered an industry pioneer in building programmable DSP solutions for the communication markets. With 75 plus international patents, Sankhya is a world leader in 5G broadcast and satcom markets. Over a period of 15 years, Sankhya has raised institutional investment monies from marquee investors around the world. Now, we are part of the famed Tata Group. We began our journey in 2007. India was known for its IT skills, but not so much for semiconductor ecosystem. It was practically non-existent. It was a challenge to create the ecosystem and while our peers in the internet commerce were on the offspring. Since COVID times, people have suddenly realized that, you know, one needs semiconductors to power mobile apps and even the cars that are uh, that are running today. The DLI scheme, I believe, and I truly believe, is a watershed movement for the indigenous semiconductor ecosystem in India. Not many know, but the NTP or the National Telecom Policy of 1999 uh, led to the creation of the abundant unicorns that we see today in the internet commerce space. I truly believe and hope that the DLI scheme will uh, create many more semiconductor unicorns in, in a decade from now. I am frequently asked on why did we choose the hard path of highest resistance of building a semiconductor company when we had easier choices for commercial success, such as building internet commerce companies. Well, we haven't been commercially as successful our, as our industry peers in the e-commerce business. I won't trade places for anything else but hardware and semiconductor, uh, semiconductor content. More so because there's a, it's a highly stimulating and intellectually rewarding uh, ecosystem where you interact with some of the smartest people on earth. And as a tech entrepreneur, we tend to see technology ghosts like a horror film protagonist. And just as the end of the horror movie, the exorcist realizes that the ghosts are real, the real life scheme will, will allow you to conjure up these ghosts and not fear them and create those exorcists that will guide you uh, to creating, bringing these ghosts to real life. And by the turn of the decade, if not sooner, I'm sure you and your peers will build some great companies and put India on the semiconductor global supply chain. And if someone with limited resources and intellect, as we could do, I'm sure you could do better. To end my, end my uh, talk, and for the lack of an indic hero, I paraphrase Robert Boyce, co-founder Intel, said, don't be encumbered by history. Go do something wonderful, to which I also add, don't fear the ghosts that you create and others can't see. Go ahead and bring those ghosts to real life. Thank you and Jai Hind.